Simon, you were telling me as we got on the bus for this long road trip that the weather in the Czech Republic get a little more snow there, but the temperature is just as cold as they are here? Uh, they do get this cold. They even get colder, but uh, they tend not to stay there for a long time. But um, for about two to three months, we do have uh, temperatures below zero all day long. You were uh, not just, you didn't come right from the Czech Republic to uh, William Jewell College. Can you tell us about that trip to come to Liberty, Missouri? Um, complicated, but uh, fairly um, typical for a player from Europe who wants to um, have a great degree like, like I will have from Jewell. Um, I had to perform well at certain points in my career back home and uh, I was lucky enough to um, have a coach who was able to find somebody who was interested in, um, in me and in my, my teammate Emil um, and uh, we were able to show that in a, in a prep school tournament in Rhode Island where Coach Kali and, uh, had some friends there um, and uh, they, they talked and they liked us so they, they picked us to, to try, try our best at Will and Jewel, and that's how I got here. Simon Zajacek is our guest at halftime. So there's a, I, I, there's a way that you got to Rhode Island. There had to be some steps in there between the Czech Republic and Rhode Island. And they, What extremes did you go to to get a chance to play? That was uh, two years of uh, almost like military-like practices. Um, I went to an academy that specializes for this kind of um, this kind of practices it's called get better academy and um, we practiced uh, four times to five times a week from 545 to 745 uh, then from 1 to 3 and then again from um, from 7 to 9 or from 9 to 11 uh, three times a day we had weight we had agility we had speed we had shooting we had uh, conditioning, all these kind of things. Uh, two years of hard work. I didn't really get much sleep that, that those two years. I was just uh, last night looking at my picture, at the pictures from that year, from those two years. Uh, how I was waking up early in the morning, having you know, having slept uh, only four or five hours, and then getting getting hard in the work, and it paid off. It paid off. I was uh, I was very very glad to. Um, to accomplish that. And that was uh, what here in the States we would call your high school years basically? Yeah that was during my high school during my last two high school years my junior senior year uh, which is a year longer than in the uh, US we have 13 years of the basic education so um, I was 19 when I finished my year at uh, my, my Get Better Academy high school. So Simon the, the, the question here is why why did you do all that? Um, I ask that question myself a lot um, because I'm still not sure what am I going to do with my life, um, but I'm keeping my options open, and that was my primary focus was to to have life where I have a lot of options, where I can uh, do what's best for my future family, my future wife, what I if I can provide, and uh, I I thought that um, a degree from U.S. University would be probably the best best for that to to have more options to to open up the world to me as I love the world I love to speak to different people that I don't know from different countries different cultures and this was a step towards the great direction I mean I think it was the correct direction for me Simon Zaychek with us here at halftime uh, and there are a lot of things I want to ask you about what you just said but number one is what have you learned what have you learned uh, since you left I've become a new person I, I did, uh, and I sometimes don't believe that because I think I was like that before. But William Jewell changed me uh, from from the bottom up. I um, I acquired so much knowledge in my field of study, which is international relations. I was able to um, um, test my my beliefs, test my test my uh, ethics and my morals during a critical thing in inquiry classes. I was able to perfect my communication skills in my communication minor and apart from that I was able to um, just grow as a person and uh, and uh, perform uh, and, and, and you know, respect the environment that I was performing in and, and do do the best of my abilities to to thrive here and to to be the best person I could possibly become 
Simon, you said you have a lot of options and you're not sure which direction you're going to go, but I hear you say uh, international relations and communications. I'm thinking you're going to end up in the international community in some way? That is uh, my, my plan. That, that would be correct. Um, and there's a lot of options in international relations, international affairs I could go to. There's, of course, business, which is booming, and uh, there's a lot of trade going on in the world more and more. Um, but I'm more interested in politics. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up there because it's a very, very competitive field, probably even more than the business, uh, since um, it's only limited to countries and, and contacts with, with politicians that are established, and, and those contacts are very hard to get. I'm hoping to get some contacts uh, on my trip to Washington, D.C., that I'm going to do this summer through uh, William Jewell, uh, which is a great opportunity for me to, to um, you know, take another step towards, towards my, my desired goals. Um, I'm, I hope I'm going to succeed there. I'm going to find contacts, and hopefully that will take me in the direction I want to go. Simon, you ready to step into some uh, scary territory here? Because I've got another thing I want to talk to you about. Are you ready? I'm, of course, ready. <laughs> you were here to witness this presidential election, and what do you make of the United States presidential election, and especially this past one? It was a great TV series. I'm, I'm going to give you that. It was a great TV series. No, uh, jokes aside, I really enjoyed it because it was something that I always wanted to uh, wanted to feel how 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 that is going on. I mean, it's what, probably the most important election for Americans um, throughout the whole uh, political. Um, I mean, the, the, in the political area, it's really uh, it's it's the most important thing. It's pr the U.S. president is the most important person in the world, especially in the Western Hemisphere. And uh, it it was very interesting to witness all these um, all these practices that um, are happening. I mean, all these uh, all these uh, rallies and all these uh, debates. It's very different from back home, even though we are actually going that direction too uh, in Czech Republic. Um, but it was uh, it was something extraordinary. I had I had no idea this this is the way it, it's it's been done I mean, in the in the past, and it's um, it's a very very unique system to elect a president. Um, the British they do the questioning time of the prime minister, but the Americans they do the debates and they do the on and off um, you know coverage of the rallies and of these. Since it's a different system, it's a different different mentality, different culture, and uh, I'm, I know I will remember that forever. Simon Zaichek again is with us here at halftime. Uh, you're going to graduate this spring, right? It's this summer, May, July 2017, after I, I f hopefully finish my uh, Washington, D.C. internship. You do the internship, and then where? Um, I will, for the, for the near future, I'll go back home for about three to four years um, it's because uh, I really want my girlfriend to finish her degree back home and she wants to as well it's um, it's our shared goal that that uh, we want to accomplish is both of us to have a degree and then um, then take on the world together uh, that's nice I like that uh, where is she going to school uh, she's going to a, a school that uh, is focusing on um, economy and uh, and uh, transportation uh, industry, mostly like um, uh, not really engineering, but but economy in in the in the um, airline industries and all these things where where um, she might she might become uh, you know anything from a stewardess at the airport at the airplane to um, you know some of the some of the manage managerial posts in uh, in um, airline airline uh, companies and all these things, which is. Uh, what she she would like to do, um, I think she she has a potential there. As uh, I know, she's very good at with people. She's good at with communication. Even though um, she wasn't able to show it to my Amer American friends because her English wasn't that good yet. But she's getting there. She lives in Seattle now and thinking about that all the time. How how great that is too. How did your English? And I wasn't planning on asking this, but how did your English get to be so good? I started reading a lot, and I never thought I would. Uh, if you asked me before I went to Jewel if I would, if I, if I like to read or if I would read, I'd probably say no because I always uh, thought 
the best way to learn language is to speak it with people. And I'm, I still think that. I still think that's the best and most efficient and especially the quickest way to learn it is to immerse yourself into uh, the culture and, and speak the language because you're forced to. You can't get away, get around it. You can't really Google Translate while you're speaking to somebody on a train or, or in, in a shop. So that, that's definitely the most efficient way. But then uh, once you get to a point where that's all, all you're doing, you will never... You'll never get to know all these beautiful words, and 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 uh, that's that's my interest right now. I'm I'm listening to a lot of debates of, of very um, s smart and very intelligent people, but I'm also reading books, and that uh, I'm seeing the difference myself. How much my English actually improved in the past six to seven months. Yeah. Simon Zaichek, thank you. This has been a pleasure. We never did get around to talking about basketball because all of this stuff was fascinating, but thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope we're going to win our game today and, and uh, see you next time. Thank you, and we will be back with more in just a moment.